Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be doing a first impressions. So in my last video, you did see that I got a whole bunch of new products. Um, I have already applied this to most of my body, but I wanna go ahead and show you how I do my arms. So we're just gonna dive straight into this video because it's gonna be a, gonna be a video. Okay, so before we get started, while I'm putting on my nifty headband, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Now let's get started. We're gonna take our dry brush. This is by Daily Concepts. And we're just gonna gently go over our arms. I love doing this the day before I shave. Um, I shaved my legs already, so kind of just defeated the purpose, but I will, I already did it, so my legs are just extra exfoliated. So I'm going to take a little bit, because it is a very thick cream, and just, and I noticed when I was applying it, it's not that it's glittery, but it adds like a nice hydrated shine like look at that and it smells amazing all right this is the see i still can't pronounce it neroli neroli iris it's supposed to smell like flowers i honestly think it smells like the fresh ocean breeze no joke like putting it on right now i wish i was on a cruise that's how fresh it smells and after I do my makeup, I will be using the hand cream. All of the items that we are doing a first impressions on, putting my robe on because why not? All of the items that we are going to be doing a first impressions on, if you did not see the previous video, were purchased from TJ Maxx. And before I purchased any of them, I did make sure they were all sealed. So I'm very excited that we got some amazing brands at great prices. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. Oh my gosh, y'all, this scent is just lingering. It's a, okay, so one, like the shower gel I did notice because I got the full set. Um, there was the body lotion, the hand cream, and the shower gel bundled together on clearance for like six or seven dollars. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face while we talk. But the scent is so, and it doesn't smell artificial. But the scent is just so, oh, amazing and potent. And I'm living for it. And it makes me feel like I am on vacation, even though I'm not. I would love to do that. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some pure 4-in-1 correcting primer. No, I did not purchase that at TJ Maxx. When it comes to purchasing makeup, I either purchase something that I really want to try, like I've been dying to try, or something that I really need. So, one item in here I've been dying to try, and then the rest of the items that we're using, I just need them. Um, hmm, okay, let me rephrase that. One item I've been dying to try. No, I do need it because I have all my setting powders are either like a natural finish or like a matte finish. None of them are dewy. So, once that is done soaking, I'm going to find a brush to use because I don't want to use that brush. I have the It Cosmetics. This is the Heavenly Luxe brush. It's a flat top buffing foundation brush. I've been dying to try this and I know it's not my shade, but that's okay. <laughs> I know how to work with that. If you don't know how to work with something and it's not your shade, um, please don't buy it. But if you want to watch a video on how to work with it, I have that coming. Okay. So this is the Stila Skin Lingerie Souffle. 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 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this. It's just like the weirdest consistency. I've been wanting to buy it because of the packaging alone, but I was not about to spend the money on it. And it was at TJ Maxx for $12.99. And I was like, oh. So I got it. I'm just gonna take it on this brush. As you can see, it's obviously not my shade. And I'm gonna start stippling it. This is shade 3.0, by the way. It was the lightest shade they had. And it is very obviously not my shade, but it's okay. That actually doesn't look awful. Like it's, I mean, it's obviously not my shade. I'm not gonna lie. But the way it blends out, it's just, it's such a sheer coverage. Now, I feel like if I went in with my hands, it would be a much bigger coverage, obviously. But because it's such a sheer coverage, it's not that bad. Like, I opened it, and I looked at it, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> You're not my shade. But it's not awful. Like, it really just evens out your skin tone. And one thing I've noticed when you're using a flat top buffing brush, you want to stipple and then very lightly go in, like, buffing motions. Because... If you just go straight in, hardcore, hold the brush like this and go, that's how you get streaky. And y'all, it's taken me a minute to realize that. I'm not even kidding you. I'm going to go in with some Pretty Vulgar Concealer. I did see the Pretty Vulgar Foundation, but when I tell you it was so far off of my shade that I couldn't have made it work if I wanted to. And then, like, let's be realistic. I... If I need anything, it's like, it's blushes. And I wasn't living, like they had the Too Faced like jelly highlighters and the Too Faced like jelly blushes. I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm not a jelly person. And it's literally just going to sit on my desk and collect dust. If I have to purchase it. Let me just move it in that direction i did not purchase any eyeshadow palettes it's not something i really need at this very second okay so something i do actually kind of need is a dewy setting powder um and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i don't know if this is gonna be dewy or glowy okay this is the Too Faced do you uh setting powder in radiant nude that's what she looks like she was sealed i just took her sticker off she's gonna go in with this it cosmetics oh no it has that scepter like the becca set and refresh oh it smells heavenly though Um, um, I feel like I just put highlighter on my face. It smells good, though. Uh, okay, let's see if we can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, we're glowy. <laughs> we are glowy. 
All right, so I feel like if I mix this with my normal setting powder, let's try that. I mean, it's pretty. Definitely glowy. It's just, it's glowy. I feel like if I mixed it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, I might like it a little better. Maybe if I mixed it before use. Because the Skin Souffle does have a hint of a sheen to it. So I have maybe if I mix the Dewy, the Do You setting powder with the Too Faced, I mean the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, I might like it a little better. I don't hate it. It was just initially a lot of glow um because the stila does have a natural sheen to it so keep that in mind um but i actually like it it set my face nicely you like that i've done pretty much my whole face with one brush okay i'm gonna go finish my face off camera and we'll be back for the last item my wings are slightly uneven and um you know what it is what it is i'm human you're human none of us are 100 percent flawless so there's that all right everything else is on my face um i'm not putting highlight on no we have some Too Faced better than sex mascara some note cosmetics a desert rose um, so Anastasia Saddle Bronzer off to contour, lightly contour, and we also use it as eyeshadow. And then I have some Stila Kitten Karma on my lid. So, the last first impression we have is this Defense Refresh Setting Mist Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50 Water and Sweat Resistant for 40 minutes sets makeup control shine refreshes your protection against the ray uv rays cutting edge spray technology delivers a fine even coverage with antioxidant rich rosemary and mint to improve complexion this is your perfect pick me up for a fresh flawless sun safe skin throughout the day Directions, shake, 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 shake well before you choose. Super shaking bulbs inside the body, inside the bottle, <laughs> inside the bottle. We'll mix the biphase formula and provide even distribution of makeup setting and UV protecting ingredients. Pull hair back, close eyes, tuck in lips and spray seven to 10 times in a circle and then keep your eyes closed for about three seconds and you're all set. Okay, seven to eight sprays, seven to 10 sprays. Tuck your lips, close your eyes and spray in a circular motion. Here we go, ready? Okay, well, I figured out real quick why they said close your eyes and keep them closed. Oh, it is minty and rosemary. Okay. So I was half expecting little white specks all over my face. I like it. It's nice. Okay, let's apply a lipstick. This is number 681. This is what I wore on my wedding day. So, I'm kind of feeling nostalgic here, guys. And it's a pretty color. The, what am I, oh, my hand cream. And last but not least, for first impressions. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy it's sealed. But if I could remember that it's sealed, that would be great. Where'd the lid go? Okay, well, the lid flew across the room. Just try this hand cream. Oh, it's so luxurious. 
Mm. Mm. Okay, guys. So, first impressions. Let's take my hair down for this. So we can feel fancy with our fancy product. Okay. I was actually very pleasantly surprised by this. I thought this was going to be too dark. Is it my exact shade? No. Is it close enough to where I can pull it off? Yeah. Um, I do like the fact that it blended out very nicely and very quickly and it just kind of melted into my skin. It is a very sheer coverage. It's not full coverage, so keep that in mind. It also blended very nicely with my concealer. Um, there's very few things that doesn't blend well with that pretty vulgar concealer, by the way. The only thing that kind of has me like what the actual F is that do you setting powder by Too Faced. Like I don't need highlighter. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. was I expecting it to be that shimmery? No. Do I have an idea on how to use it? Yes. I'm going to try to mix it with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting powder just to dial down the shimmer. It's a great setting powder, actually. Um, I feel like my skin looks stunning. I definitely, I definitely feel glowy. So there is that. Oh, I have a knot. Okay, that's better. Um, all of the beautiful skincare that we purchased, the body lotion, the body wash, the hand cream. Oh, my hands feel amazing. It just, it all feels beautiful. It does leave a nice little healthy sheen, not a glow, a healthy hydrated sheen. Um, so there's that. The setting spray, I actually really like the setting spray. I was kind of nervous at first when I read mint. I mean, granted, I didn't listen. I opened my eyes right after I sprayed. It's nice. Um, but yeah, no, I actually like it. I feel like it kind of dialed down the, no, it didn't, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it did dial down the glow that's on my face right now. Best product I purchased out of everything today, though, makeup wise. Mmm. Mmm. I am so surprised by this. I really like this. This is stunning. It feels like I have nothing on. My face just, it feels like it has a natural, stunning glow to it. Mmm. I can't stop looking in the mirror. I feel like I have a nice, healthy glow, like I have been chilling in the sun. Which I have it open. I don't want to look at it. I'm a hermit. I'm the dumb hermit. Oh my god, I'm the dumb hermit. Well, that's not true. Me and Mac leave to go eat coffee. Alright, guys. I am going to go ahead and go. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, the next video is going to be how to take a foundation and make it work for you in the event it's not your shade. Uh, we, we've all run into that problem. No one's perfect, okay? I have a, well, I had. I don't anymore. I definitely have a summer shade, that's for dang sure. But I had a foundation that was entirely too light for my face. And then I had another foundation that was substantially too dark for my face. So... I will show y'all how we can go through and correct that. That way you don't have to go buy a brand new foundation. Okay. And it's using products that you're probably already going to put on anyway. So I will see you guys in my next video. We will be resuming the Makeup 101 series. And... I really hope y'all enjoy this upcoming skincare Saturday. Um, yeah.
put a good bit of thought into it. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I will see you in my next video. I'm going to go. I'm rambling. Have a good one, guys.